welcome to the very first episode of God of Trivia, the show where I prove that I know more than everybody as the world's leading expert in useless facts. Yeah, but Today, I'm joined by Josh, the one who made me do the fucking koala video. So I got a gift for I you. I like koalas and chlamydia. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. Got this for you, a little scoreboard. I'm and a scorekeeper? Yes. Hey, thanks, Dad. So, I know, for once, you got approval. Yeah. What we're going to do is, I've pulled up a couple Halloween trivia, because I felt like it was appropriate to start if we are going to do trivia challenges. And I'm just going to go back and forth, both give our answer on it, and see who gets the most right. So, Which will obviously be me. Fucking, I don't know about that. Halloween, well, Halloween's both our favorite holiday, actually, so... Seven days after my birthday. Yeah, who fucking cares? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was the captain <laughs> of qui of my quiz bowl team. <laughs> fucking nerd, okay. <laughs> Alright. Coca. So, got one from Home Court Advisory. All which right. feels like a fucking, like, a DHS service, but we'll do it. Where okay. are the answers at? Answers are going to be at the end, so oh, okay. we'll take a guess on them, and then we'll go through and see how many we got right. Okay. Yes. And we, we can write down, like, what our answers were for each one, probably. To yeah, track it'll probably it. work. Okay, so for the first one, jack-o'-lanterns first got their start as what vegetable? I literally just watched a fucking video on I this other day. What are the options? I can't see. Uh, there's no options on it. Oh. There's options for the next one. Okay, I think I know. And do we answer like three, two, one? Well, we can both guess. We don't gotta do it at the same time because I know I watched a video the other day on this, but I already fucking forgot. I think I know it. It's it. It's gourd. Mm, that I sounds think, pretty right. I think it's a gourd. I keep thinking zucchini, even though I know it's not, because <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. But I keep thinking it's a fucking zucchini. Um. You know, I'll, I'll go with Gord too. Okay. I'll go with Gord. We'll see it then. Alright, one, one, Gord. Alright. For the next one, we got multiple choice on this one. What did children collect during trick or treating before candy came into the picture? Either A, money, B, apples, C, soul cakes, or D, prayers. The fuck's a soul cake? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, it's like the fucking soul food restaurants is when they make a cake. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I'm more curious about how you collect prayers. I mean, like, is that just going door to door asking people to pray for you? I'm going to say apples. It's a... Only thing I think that makes sense, since they still do candy. I feel apples. like it's a trick question, though. I don't think it's money, because I don't think they had the money to give out. I don't know what soul cakes are, but I almost feel like they're collecting prayers to ward off the evil spirits. So I'm gonna go with prayers. Oh goodness! So, so prayers. What what was prayers D? Yeah. And then mine was B. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why are orange and black traditionally used as Halloween colors? Orange is associated with what, and black is associated with what? Pumpkins and black cats. I fucking doubt it. Pumpkins and black cats. I think orange is associated with, like, falling leaves, and black is associated with the eternal void that we all succumb to in the end. Makes sense. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll oh, see. We'll uh, see. So, uh, three, um, leaves and void. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Cthulhu. How many questions are there? Oh, uh, there are ten on this one. Okay. And then I said pumpkins mm -hmm. and black cats. Which I don't think is right because... We just established that it was gourds. Oh, shit. But you already made your answer. Too late. Damn it! Okay, what was the first wrapped penny candy in America? Wait, what? The, what was the first wrapped penny candy in America? I don't know. I, it, it has to be licorice. Because, like, every Western I've ever watched, like, they go into, like, the hometown store. Yeah. And he's, like, 
offers than licorice. I'm gonna say butterscotch. Mmm, that's a pretty old one. That just feels like old ladies at church. You still always get those? I think it's licorice. You know, we can just remember our answers. Yeah, I think we'll remember it. It's fine. I mean, I've already won, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, so Halloween candy sells average about what dollars annually in the U.S.? Oh. 80 million, 500 million, 2 billion, or 780 billion? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if they're making 780 billion, we're in the wrong business. What the fuck? I'm going to say... Uh... <clears throat> I'm going to say 20 million, man. I can't go higher than that. There's no way. Dude, but then again, think I, about like the bags of it though. Like if you the, go the right now to Harps, even like the cheapest multi bag is gonna be like three to five dollars. Yeah, and the big ones are like twenty bucks. And most people are gonna buy multiples of that. But it's at that point where like when it gets to so much money, I can't really grasp yeah. how much that is. Yeah. But then also like you gotta think. Whenever Halloween's over and everything goes on fifty percent off, that's when a majority of that candy mm. sales. Fuck it, I'm going with two billion. No fuck, dude. I'm going right two on billion. That, I'm going two billion. Boy. I'm the god of trivia. Okay. The tradition of wearing costumes began with the ancient Celts. Why did they begin wearing masks and costumes? Um. Celts. Because I think, like, the rumor I always heard, or, like, what everyone says is that it was to scare off spirits, but yeah, I think it was actually to make them more comfortable. To, like, be sense. able to walk among them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to just, because I don't want to do the same answer, I'm going <laughs> to say them? to scare them. Okay. Or to, to fin them off. Okay, okay. Alright, so we got... Two more, on the, or no, three more, two, I think. Four more, I can't count. No, oh. fuck it. What tops the list is the most popular candy bar for trick or treaters? Hmm. That's it's either Snickers. I have it down to either Kit Kat or Reese's. Hmm. Or Hershey's. No, way. there's a lot of dude, Hershey's I, chocolate bars. I hate Hershey's so much. Well, yeah, but it's what's the most popular? <clears throat> yeah, but I'm the most popular. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you speak for the American. My children. opinion. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that you're uh, the demographic we're aiming for here. Yeah. I mean, you're the same size. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I do think you're right about it, but Reese's being one of them. I'm gonna go with Kit Kat. I'm gonna go with Reese's. Because <laughs> yeah. they both have such a tradition of yeah. marketing for it. Yeah. All right. Especially with Reese's, the pumpkins. Yeah, and but see, I can't tell if I'm being persuaded by the amount of ads they do. They do a lot of ads. I don't know if that actually translates to, to like what they... people are getting. Yeah. It's probably gonna be like some shitty candy that just like gets put in every variety pack, like Good Bar or something like that, or like what you call it for some reason. I love watching my Or it's fucking, uh, Whoppers. Oh, yeah. Which I hate. Fucking gross. Uh, how many witches were burned at the stake in the Salem Witch Trials? This has, like, a wide variety of topics. Shit. I feel like it... I was in the Crucible, so I should know this. In the what? The Crucible. It's, the it's a play by Arthur oh. uh, It's. I thought it was the Destiny competitive. No, mode. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a play about the Salem Witch Trials. Okay. John Proctor, played by Daniel Day Lewis in the movie. You know? Whore! You know? Anyway. No. Anyway. Thanks for destroying our fucking audio. <laughs> <laughs> How many people were actually around to be burned, though? I think it's a, a, 11. Mm. That number's just in my head for some reason. And I, 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 I guarantee it's probably not right. Um, 
I have no clue on this, so I'm gonna guess 42. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> just, just for the hell of it. Because I have no idea. And we'll just, the winner on that will be whoever's closest. Yeah. That's how we'll do that. Um, shit, this is a fucking long ass one. A group of friends visited the poet Lord Byron at his villa near Lake Geneva, Switzerland. Stormy weather forced the party to spend most of their time indoors, and to pass the time, they began reading ghost stories. Byron then issued a challenge to each guest should write a ghost story of their own. One 19-year-old guest dreamed up a tale, the modern Prometheus, which eventually became the author's most famous work. Name the author and the book. Fuck. I have no clue. I don't know who wrote Prometheus, I'm going to be honest with you. And I guarantee it's probably on that shelf. Probably. <laughs> Thousand books. <laughs> so Margaret has everything. I feel like I should know. I feel like I remember learning about like someone who interacted with Lord Byron, like another author, but I don't remember who it was, and I don't even remember like roughly what time period that was because yeah. I didn't pay any attention in class. Like, my gut says Mark Twain, but I don't feel like that's right. <laughs> um. Okay, so for our final question, the film villains from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Silence of the Lambs, Deranged, and Psycho are all based on the same real-life American serial killer. Name him. I know this, so I'm going to let you go. In yeah, him. What time period? Um, the 80s? No. 70s or 80s? I can't remember. Well, Texas Chainsaw Master came out in the 70s, so it had to be... I was trying to think who was fucking... No, when Psycho came out... Psycho wait, was... Psycho came out in the 50s. So, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like every... I could have swore it was, though. So I feel like every serial killer I'm going to think of is going to be, like, too recent. Yeah. Because I can only think of people like Zodiac and Bundy and people like that. Uh... I'm gonna guess, I don't know his name, but the dude who ran the murder hotel. Okay. That's my guess. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Ed Gein. Oh, that fucking sounds right. I, I, I think it's Ed Gein, but then again, I'm, I'm thinking, and I don't remember when Ed Gein was active. That sounds like it's possible. Okay, let's go through these. Alright, answers. Well, we both fucked up the first one. It's turnips. Fuck. <laughs> so, neither of us got a point I for that. I could have swore it was a gourd. I really thought you were right. But that might have been, like, just like what the Nords yeah. or someone else did. So, for two, they collected soul cakes. So, so again, <laughs> again, uh, we're fucking we up. we go for the god of trivia. Uh, look. <laughs> okay, so... Orange is associated with the fall harvest, and black is associated with darkness and death. So I think I get a, you got I get a, a, a half that. point. No, no, I think you get a whole point. A whole fall point. harvest is that close enough? Yeah, dude, that's that's as close as you could have gotten. I knew pumpkins and black hats was way too yeah. new. Yeah. Unless they meant that, like, unless those colors came into place more recently, but yeah. So right now I'm I'm living up to my title. With, but yeah, one of three. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Tootsie Rolls were the first rap candy. I guess the rap part, because I guess licorice was always just open in those containers. Yeah. But really? Like, nothing before Tootsie Rolls. That doesn't seem... There are a shit ton of Tootsie Rolls during Halloween, yeah. though. But the first rap candy... Oh, yeah, the first rap candy. I feel candy. like yeah, that's right. the definition of rap candy is different than what I thought it was. Huh. Two billion... Is the profit margin for oh. Halloween candy sales each year? <laughs> I'm getting. I'm fucking rolling. Smoked. Don't worry, we got two more trivia things after this, so you'll have a chance to come back. And the answer for the next one, uh, why do kids dress up for Halloween? Was to avoid being recognized as humans by the spirits of those who had died that year, looking for new bodies, so to blend in, which is what I said. You said to scare them. I said to fend them off. Yeah, and but this is specifically to blend in Fuck. with them, <laughs> not to scare them away. Yeah, but you do get to make a comeback because Reese's is the number one Halloween candy. 
So, yeah, you got that one. I kind of thought it was that, but I wanted to let you have one. Um, so for the Salem Witch Trials, the answer, what? The answer was none. None of them were actually oh, burned. That's right. Two were hung. Yeah, that's right. None of them were burned. We did say whoever got closer, so I will give it to you. Because <laughs> we, we set that parameter, but... Yeah. I guess they just do it in the movies to make it more... Yeah. No, no. now I remember that nobody actually burned. Yeah, because so over 200 were accused, but two were actually executed and they were hung. Yeah. So, and you were actually pretty close on the author with Lord Byron. It was Mary Shelley. I know it was Mary Shelley. I remember because <laughs> the modern Prometheus is Frankenstein. Really? Yes. And Frankenstein's my favorite fucking novel. <laughs> and then after I said Bram Stoker, I was like, oh shit, wait. <laughs> I didn't know it was called that. I thought it was just called Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Well, it is, but it's, it's referred to as the modern oh. Prometheus. Well, shit, you don't even know your favorite stuff, so... I know, I hate myself. And the final answer was Ed Gein. Boom! Tied, oh. baby! <laughs> God damn it, so it's all gonna come down. Okay, we still got a ways to go. We still got two more. All so right. it's far from over. Um, <sighs> That's a I still got this. One to one. Still got this. I mean, I'm, it's tied, but... Nah, I still got this, so give me water real quick. <laughs> Hey, we're back. We're all fucking tied up, which really pisses me off. Yeah. Because I started off strong. First half, looked like I had it. Come back, kid. That's what back. they call me. As soon as you said Ed Gein, I was like, I knew that was it. Yeah. But I could, it was too late. Yeah. This one, at least, we're going to get to know on the spot. I'm pretty sure all of these tell us the answer. As soon as we guess. Okay. So the origins of Halloween can be traced back to what Celtic festival believed to be the one day a year that the dead return to earth and roam among the living? I'm pretty sure I know this. They have, do they have the options or no? Yeah, we get three choices. So Hogmanay, Samhain, or Beltane. Samhain's a guy, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Isn't Samhain an actor? Uh... Maybe. I think it's Hogmanay, or whatever that fucking says. I'm pretty sure it's either Samhain or Hogmanay, but I don't remember which one. Hogmanay sounds weird, but it is Celtic. It sounds so. familiar to me. Um, fuck it, I'll go with Hogmanay. Is that what you're going for? The, yeah. Does it tell us immediately for this one? Wrong. It was Samhain. <laughs> yeah. Due to its origins in the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, Halloween is said to be more Irish than St. Patrick's Day. Huh. I mean, whatever. Okay. We're going to skip that one because that's the purpose of costumes where I fucking know that one. Okay. Okay. Once Christianity became the dominant religion in the British Isles, Celtic traditions were melded with Christian observances. The name Halloween is derived from this Christian holiday, the evening before All Saints Day. So, Hallowed, hallowed Eventide, All Hallows Eve, or All Holy Pretty sure all of us know this. Yeah, this all one's Hallows pretty easy. If we're wrong, <laughs> I'm going to be fucking pissed, but I'm pretty sure it's All Hallows Eve. Yeah. Right. Okay. Both get one. So both on the board right now. Okay. All right. Modern day trick or treating, when children dress in costumes and go door to door collecting candy, has its roots in this medieval tradition. Souling, the practice of begging for food or money in exchange for saying prayers on behalf of the dead. Feasting, the practice of sharing food with strangers at the end of the harvest period. Or spiriting, the practice of dressing up like a ghoul and playing tricks on your neighbors. I'm pretty sure multiple of these happened. Yeah. But I think specifically which one is trick-or-treating based on. Because I'm pretty sure they did play tr like pranks. But I don't think... I'm going to say souling. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's either souling or feasting. 
but I think it is Soul Winning. Oh. Cop out. I see. Choosing the same answers as Josh. <laughs> Shit. I'm just a fucking smart one. See? Both got it. <laughs> really, I'm guiding you towards Oh, okay. Even uh, though I am learning first. more. Well, I explain it, it gives you the uh -huh. the path. Yeah. Okay. Trick or treat was brought to America by the Irish, where it became popular in the early twentieth century. However, experienced a temporary decline during World War II due to what effect of the war? Sugar rationing, no candy. Fuel rationing, no transport. Or cotton rationing, no costumes. Shit. <sighs> due to the end of the war. I don't know this one. I feel like it could easily... I think it, be it has to be sugar rationing, right? I think it's cotton rationing. I think because I feel like in my head, because it was like the whole thing where, Grant, I don't know if that was cotton, but like where women were having to give up their stockings for the war effort and stuff because they didn't have enough clothing material. Hmm. But I could be wrong. You going with sugar? Yeah. Okay. It's Let's obvious. See. Boom. <laughs> Boom. And the comeback kid takes the lead. It ain't fucking over yet. I don't know how many this one this has, so. Okay, that one's how much do Americans spend. Well, this one is different. Okay, it's not just candy. Okay, Halloween is the second largest commercial holiday in the U.S., with consumers buying decorations, costume, and candy for trick-or-treaters. How much do Americans spend each year around Halloween? Well, we know it's over $2 billion. Yeah. All the answers are over $2 billion well, as well. One billion, three billion, or six billion. Oh, okay. So we know it's not one billion. No, and yeah, I'm gonna go with six billion. Well, two billion was specifically the candy margin. Yeah. So yeah, the question is, do we spend an ad an additional four billion or one billion or one billion yeah. for costumes and decorations? It's got to be six, man. I'm going with six. <laughs> I don't want to just pick the same answer, but I feel like it has to be. You know what? Fuck it. It's three billion. <laughs> I am the true god of trivia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting you regain your confidence. So to give you a chance to win. Okay. One explanation for the carving of pumpkins and jack o' lanterns comes from a Celtic folktale about a man named Stingy Jack who played tricks on the devil. When he died, he wasn't allowed into heaven or hell, and the devil doomed him to roam the earth with only a burning coal to light his way. Ever canny, Jack carved a lantern for his coal. However, he didn't use a pumpkin, but rather a... Cabbage, potato, or turnip. Turnip. It has to be, right? Because that one question... Because of the... What they use, That's but it's his story different. This is like a different story in the trick question. I think it's a turnip, and that's where they got their origin from. I think that's how turnips started. I mean, this potato's an option. He was Irish, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, uh, it's turnip. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so we're, we're tied there. What? On that question. Oh, okay. On that question. All right, I thought you were... Trying to give yourself, like, you know, 30 points, because that's how far ahead I am. <laughs> what the fuck? We tied on the first one, so it's <laughs> even up. Okay. Instead of Halloween, in Latin America, is more common... Damn cat. Fuck. Anyway... <laughs> Instead of Halloween, in Latin America, is more common to celebrate Dia de Muertos, which I just butchered. Dia de los Muertos. Yeah. There's no los in there. There's supposed to be. Well, there's not. Particularly in Mexico, a time to honor dearly departed loved ones with foods, gifts, processions, and prayers. The festivities are symbolized by spiders, skulls, or black cats. Well. Look. They kind of get They put a picture of people in skulls, but now I feel like I'm being lied to. It's skulls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These ones are kind of easy. Okay, this is one we might actually not know. In China, you might celebrate Yulin 
the festival of the hungry ghosts, what would the festivities entail? Acting out the dramatic deaths of famous spiritual leaders, lighting incense, burning artificial money and offering food to the dead, or spending the night in the cemetery to feast and chant prayers. That sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> I mean, we play Pokemon Go in the cemetery, so might as well do some fucking rituals, I guess. Yeah, uh, I have no idea about this one. I've never even heard of this holiday. Like, I want to say lighting incense, but I don't feel if that's... I'm not sure if that's just me being partially biased and assuming that the Chinese would be lighting incense. I'm gonna go... Especially with, like, the Lantern Festival and everything? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the acting out. Mm, that's my second option, but I'm gonna go with lighting incense. I, I got a good feeling. And I'm on my comeback. <laughs> got a tree. I'm just playing games with you. That's all I'm doing. Oh, who wrote Dracula? Oh, Ram Stoker. <laughs> <laughs> sure it's not Mary Shelley? Shut up. <laughs> All right. Watching spooky themed movies is a favorite Halloween pastime. Now a cult film. What 1993 movie set in Salem, Massachusetts follows a teenager who accidentally brings back three witches which have been dead for years? Yeah. You want you want the options? <laughs> I think it might be Casper. I think it might be Night Before Christmas. <laughs> no, that's 100% Hocus Pocus. Yeah. They put the goddamn they, they put image, the image on the question. Yeah. The last one was way harder. Was it Night Before Christmas? Oh. Yeah, Night Before Christmas. Yeah, the one before that? Yeah, the one before that? Yeah, the last quiz. At Halloween for the past several years, American talk show host Jimmy Kimmel has challenged parents to post funny videos of their children's reaction to what? Eating too much chocolate, seeing a scary mask, or being told I ate all your candy. I feel like the I ate all your candy thing is a very Jimmy Kimmel thing. Yeah, I know it's a YouTube trend. Yeah. Like, or it was, but I don't know if he specifically the one who did it, or if that's a trick question, it's just a YouTube. But it does seem like something he would do. I'm like, fuck, because we keep getting all these same answers, I can't come back, but I can't guess opposite. If, I think it's being... I ate all your candy. Is that what you're going with? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Not even going to ask the that was Frankenstein. Easy one, yeah. Jesus, this one is like. This one's so fucking easy. Halloween is a time to be whatever you want, except in, the, in this U.S. state where it is illegal to dress up as a priest or nun. I don't even want to, like, look at the options. I want us to try to figure out which state okay, uh, would it um, let you dress up as a priest or nun. Make it a little bit more challenging. Maine. Like, my assumption is, like, a southern state. But then, Mine's would not. they really care about because priests, though? Because most people around here aren't super, like, aren't Catholic. Catholic. Catholicism is huge on, like, the East Coast. Yeah. I'm going to go... I'm going to more West Coast, though. No, because they mock it so much. I'm going to go with New York. Okay. None of our options are on here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet it's Vermont. California, Vermont, or Alabama. Yeah, we'll, we'll... It was Alabama, Alabama, so it was we would have way the fuck off. I should have went with my intuition, but I just really didn't think they would like care enough. Yeah. But apparently it is illegal to impersonate them and punishable by a fine up to $500 hmm. or a year in jail. Hmm. That seems like borderline uh, infringing on rights, but whatever. <laughs> Though its origins are wholly Irish, Halloween has become an even bigger event across the pond. What U.S. city hosts the world's largest Halloween celebration? L.A., New York City, or Chicago? It's gotta be New York. I really thought it was gonna be Salem, just because I watched Hubie Halloween, and yeah. they have, like, the giant fest going on there. <laughs> <laughs> so you say it has to be L.A.? Uh, no, New York. Oh. Mm. It's gotta be New York. Remember that episode of How I Met Your Mother? Where they go to, like... 
the ten different Halloween parties in one night? No. You don't remember that? I, I think it was Halloween. I mean, it could easily be... I'm going with L.A. Okay. I just, just a, you're probably right, but I just want to get myself... Boom. <sighs> well, yeah, that's the end of that one, so... Ten to seven. Fuck. So right now... Two to one. I have to win this next one just to tie. Yeah. Because we picked three. Fuck. Ralph, that... We should both get this one. Okay. In what country did Halloween originate? Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which I would have been wrong had we not already done this, because I really thought it was more, like, a Norwegian I thought it area. was, like, Norway. I thought it was somewhere there, so I would have been wrong had we not already talked about it so yeah. goddamn much. Which Catholic church holiday is Halloween linked to? All Hallows Eve. Yeah. So. All okay. Saints Day. Finally one. That's a challenge. What was the name of Dracula's sidekick? Shit. Because Igor was Dr. Frankenstein's sidekick, right? Not Dracula's. Because in like Young Frankenstein. It's the only thing I can think of. I don't, I don't remember know. Dracula having a sidekick. I've never read Bram Stoker's Dracula. I've always wanted to. I just never have. I like tried reading it once, but I didn't finish it's it. right there on the bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I have no idea. I have no clue. I don't know if it's something... If it's someone we actually know, or if it... I'm gonna say Igor. I'm gonna say, uh... Van Helsing. <laughs> he was a hunter. Yeah, but I have, like, this... Maybe he started out working for Dracula. Maybe. I feel like I remember what that from what I read right? from the book. Renfield. I don't know that who the hell that is. To me. <laughs> <laughs> From which words did bonfire originate? Bonfire. Dude, this one's way tougher. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like whichever one of us gets one right, the other one did it. It's gonna win. Bonfire. From what? which words? I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know the fucking etymology what? of the word bonfire. What language? It um, didn't even give us the language. Uh... I'm going to say, I'm going to go for trying to get a half point, just to try to edge this out and say Prometheus for fire. I'm going to say higher. Bone and fire. I mean, okay. okay. I thought maybe they were talking about the origin of yeah, fire as me, well, but I, I, okay. whatever. Fuck that. I wish I just said fire and then get a half point. Uh, what does the name Dracula mean? I feel like I should know. Do you know? You gotta look. Well, I know he... I know who Dracula was, but I don't know what... Yeah, because I mean, Vlad. Yeah, Vlad the Impaler. I don't know if that's what they're talking about, but I guess I'll go with... No. no. I, I think I got it. It's not Vlad. What, what does the it next mean? question is, what was Dracula's real name? Oh. And I just said it. <laughs> well, I mean, I knew that too. But I don't know what it means. Um, I'm going to say it means I'm gonna, blood sucker. Okay, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. I was going to say blood sucker. Son of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. What was Dracula's real name? Vlad? Yeah, so we both get that. We both got that. Who was the first actor to play Wolfman? Oh, shit. I know In the I don't original know. Wolfman film? I know, I don't know. The only one I can even think of is Benicio del Toro's Wolfman. No, the original's like 1930s yeah, or old. some shit, 20s. Uh, I, I don't even know who to like guess from that time period. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. This was after the. This was like after that time period, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just going to say Marlon Brando. I almost guessed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't think. It, no, definitely not. Lon Chaney. Okay. Uh, what which phobia means you have an intense fear of Halloween? Hallophobia. Weenie phobia. <laughs> Could it be that basic? Sam Hain phobia. So it was the, uh, original the original fucking name. Huh. This fucking twist is hard. It quiz is hard. 
Oh, there's only two questions left. Out of which vegetable were Jack Lance originally made? Radish, right? Oh my god. Wasn't that it? Radish. No, no. It wasn't radish? No. Yeah. We've answered this twice, it wasn't radish. We've answered this twice and I already forgot. Because I almost said Gordon's again. <laughs> We've answered it literally twice. It's radish. It's not radish. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That, I swear. It wasn't radish. Oh my god, because I made a joke last time about it being a potato instead of it. It was a radish. I already fucking forgot. How did we forget? It's been twice. And if I could just remember, this could make me win. Because you don't remember. It's radish, dude. It's not radish. I swear. It's not. It's... Oh my god. It was a radish. <laughs> He carried one in the underworld in the story. Yeah. We're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dumb. So-called god of trivia. <laughs> Fucking turnips. Turnips. How many turnips? I said turnips. <laughs> okay. This It comes down to this. Every Halloween, Charlie Brown helps his friend Linus wait for what character to appear? I know. Do you know? This is the Great Pumpkin. The Great Pumpkin, yeah. We tie. So that means Josh is victorious. Mm -mm. Fuck ever. Two, uh, th two, three to two. <laughs> three to two. Three to two? Yeah, because we both got the first one. Oh, uh, yeah. Then I got the second one, you didn't, and, well, then I, and then we both got the third. I think the series is going to be a one and done, so I hope you all like it. <laughs> Never again. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> I give up. Well, thanks for uh, joining me and ruining my day. We'll see you folks tomorrow for Josh Beats Teller again. <laughs>